you all know what this is. This is a person who has severe arthritis. You could see deviations of the joints into directions that they normally don't go in. You can also see radiologically, if you look at the bones of these joints, there is significant erosion and irregularities in the joint area. Also grossly, you could see that the uh, joints have a thickened amount of soft tissue surrounding them as well, as well as all the other cardinal features of inflammation like heat, redness, swelling, and pain. In addition, if you were to look at some of the uh, actual synovium surrounding these joint spaces, you would see that it is not only proliferated, but it was inflamed. This is rheumatoid arthritis. In rheumatoid arthritis, which is an autoimmune disease in which the body attacks its own synovium, the primary portion of the joint which is involved with the disease process is the synovium. As you know, synovial joints have uh, bone involved in them, articular cartilage, cartilage, underlying bone, joint spaces, perhaps tendons, and synovium. And in rheumatoid arthritis, a synovitis is the primary pathologic process. Here is some synovium. Not only is it uh, proliferated to the point where it's forming somewhat of a papillary configuration, but you can also see extensive hemorrhage within it, as well as infiltrates of chronic inflammatory cells, as well as lymphoid follicles as well. Uh, with time, this can become more fibrotic and in the acute phase, it, it can also be very necrotic as well. Here is the proliferated synovial soft tissue. Here is the lining of synovial cells, which of course every synovial space as well as bursa must have. Here is some fibrous tissue within the synovium. With time, this fibrous tissue can become increased. And here are areas of inflammation as well as lymphoid infiltrates within the uh, soft tissues of the synovium as well. This is uh, classical for uh, rheumatoid arthritis, or if you would prefer, rheumatoid synovitis, because that's the primary focus of inflammation in rheumatoid arthritis. Thank you very much.